Hello everybody, how are you today? Uh, this is round one, C0 tier two, we've already crashed. Oh, we weren't even going that fast, to be fair. So that's one mistake out the window, and as you're gonna see here, this is literally uh, Q2. We've clipped the curb, I've rolled out, and I've crashed again. And, to be honest, this is basically the start of a disaster race. Um, so yeah, this is the formation lap. Uh, during this race, I actually reset my car, and when I do this, I get a 15 second time. Now, that's Bahrain, because I actually retirement out of this uh, race. Sorry to spoiler alert that. But I am not happy with that 15 seconds. I've asked to have a body band instead, but for some reason, they're not allowing that to happen. So, we start a few people Look at this start, the lights didn't last very long and everyone's been shot. So we've overtaken four cars going into turn one, which is this right hand. We overtake another car and the Toros, Matt gets in our way here, so we have to lift off, we lose the Toros again. Now it's, we're going like four abreast basically, as we go into here, so I'm going to make it three abreast up the other side. We actually back out of this because we know it's going to end in disaster now. We just need to wait for people to make mistakes. This Toros then forces us off the track. So I ain't having that, so I then force him off the track on the exit there. So that's your fair, fair game, really. You force me off, I'll force you off. Anyway, as we go into the right hand, I'm going to show you this full lap because we started P40, we've already made five positions up. Now, um, yeah, I've got a 15 second time project later on in the race to get the recess of my car in, in round one. So round two is barring, we can have 15 second time to do it. I'm feeling confident going into barring, but yeah, I don't know what 15 seconds. We can pick up a warning there, Matt spins out there. Now that is actually quite a major thing in this race, the Matt's just spun out. If he had the spun, we probably would have had to battle him and would have ended up the crash. Get another warning for track limits here, so we've already had two warnings, so this isn't looking good. We actually do, in fact, get 9 seconds before this race is over, which is terrible, absolutely terrible, as we go along this on straight. Uh, someone gets fast after the race, but we've made up a load of positions early on. Not this many drivers I've ever overtaken. It's probably my best ever start in CCRL. And it's the first one I've started pretty much right at the back. I need to start near the front, top 10, but for some reason I just couldn't get into P3 racing. So I was on a podium streak, but come to this race, that all ended. But we struggle going through this left hand and uh, this right hand. I lift off a couple of times. Now we're going to see where we can get this racing point, because this obviously isn't as fast as we are at the moment on his time. He's on the same compound as us, but he isn't going as quick as us, because we're on fresher tyres than he is. So we're going to go around the outside, we break a lot later than him, and we just get the position done. That was a nice over say, nice and easily done. So that's us now into P7. Then we have a full course yellow, so everyone's pretty much in the pit. We're gonna pray that we don't get held up, and we, in fact, we don't get held up. We, in fact, gain loads of those positions and go on to the hards to the end of the race now. We don't get, we, we don't get a McLaren. We probably should have got a McLaren there, so we pull that out the back. We did, in fact, jump for William and another car. But right after the safety car restart, we're now into P7 still, so even though we gain position, um, people on the track still in us, people uh, just crashed into the wall, uh, probably had some wind damage after that, but he just keep bottling it recently, it's exactly what I'm doing, and that is just keeps crashing, etc. Now, as we come onto these three cars having a big battle, HRC is breaking really, it just hits the back of the car in front, loosens it with an end plate, this was another major thing in me losing this race, is HRC then forces off this car on the dirt and the graph, and that car was lucky not to spin off. But Saar, what are you doing? You don't hit like that, that is horrendously bad for you. So now we are, we are so, so weak on this straight, it's absolutely ridiculous. HRC, with the broken front wing, is going to die for them. So he goes later than us, which is so stupid, isn't it? So he goes off, he got off the track, the other teams, right? He should go to the then he forces us off the track. Then we get the red people touching wheels with us. Then we get Matt alongside us. Matt's hit us, and then we've hit the car in front. And now, me and Matt are now sideways. I have to say that apparently it was racing against them, but I'm going to blame that behind the set on Matt. So, going on anyway, uh, we, well, this was really yeah, I'm sorry, Rano, but you broke so early going into that corner, I just had to go for the gap. 
and there wasn't any contact, so it was absolutely fine. However, when Drydrack does that, that is so naughty. This is after a safety car restart for the second time. I was going to pick this off, but I didn't have any fresh ones, so I wouldn't make it to the end of the race. So I'm just going to have to just try to pass it out. There's the cover out his right hander. That guy just got a five second time limit to fill out according to the stewards. This was my disaster way. I have just done it. So as we continue onwards, this has just been an absolute disaster of a race. Go to left hander. Thank you so much for watching. We're just going to put it to war. We are so frustrated.